Hello everyone, welcome back. Bailey Saintly here, and this is Edomon. Now, I don't want to say I told you so, um, but one of my early videos featuring Super Auto Pets, I went on about how uh, if the Pokemon company wants to make bulk cash, all they had to do was make a Pokemon themed uh, Super Auto Pets, Auto Battler, have evolutions, uh, have, you know, elemental types, that sort of thing. And um, I'm sure they would just make bank on that. Uh, well, Turns out somebody else had the idea, from what I can tell, and, and this is it. Adamon appears to be an auto-battler where you collect these creatures and you can evolve them. They've all got different types and move sets and things. Uh, unlike Super Auto Pets, I believe this one is more PvE rather than PvP, uh, but I haven't touched it yet. I've just fired it up, so I, uh, when I saw this in the store, I thought, ah, oh, got to try this after, after everything I said. So let's give it a look. I'm going to run through the tutorial, hopefully, quickly. And see how this all goes. Some uh, creative designs here. When you look at things that are sort of creature collectors or you know inspired by Pokemon, I always take note of uh, the creature design because when you've got however many Pokemon there are now, I know it's hard to be original. Um, what are they up to now? Six hundred plus. I mean, I haven't really kept up with them since maybe the third generation. Um, that's just a bit crazy now. Okay, welcome to the world of Edomon. I am Professor Nock, but people just call me Professok. As a researcher, I'll be here to guide you throughout your adventures. This world is filled with mysterious creatures called Kadomon. Edomon are all around us, having fun adventures of their own. They like to travel with those who prove themselves strong. So if you want to meet every Kadomon, you'll have to be ready to fight. To help with my research, I've collected three rare Kadomon. Belief is a grass type. It's not super strong, but it's really good at supporting its allies. Monku is a fire type. It's an aggressive battler, being able to quickly counter an opponent's attacks. Kreeze is a water type. This Kadomon is strong defensively, able to protect both itself and its allies. You can choose one to travel and battle alongside you. You can track what types of Kadamon you have in your team currently using this helpful meter. Okay, nice. If you have two or more Kadamon of the same type, you'll unlock special abilities called Synergies. That shields. That retaliates. Heal 50%. Oh, that's like a super. Okay, shields, attacks all. Trigger one ally ahead super one time. Grant ally ahead one fortitude and two regen. He seems cool, but he might not be useful until we've got a team. I'm going to get the droplet fella, I think. Hmm, yeah. The Cohen region. In, in your adventures, you'll travel all over the world across areas we call region. No two regions are alike, and each of them is filled with new Kadamon to discover. At the start of an adventure, you'll see a list of available Kadamon in that region on the left. It might look empty at first, but the more you encounter new Kadamon, the more this list will fill out. By hovering over a new area, you can see what types of Kadamon you could encounter there. To begin your adventures, left-click an area at the bottom of the map. Bug, Toxic, Lightning, Dusk, Water Toxic, Water Physical. Interesting. I'm going to go Water Physical. Congratulations, you've started your first battle. In battles, you'll come up against some teams of wild Katamon. Win, and you'll get rewards and the opportunity to have a Katamon join you on your adventures. Lose, and your team loses morale. When it's when your team's morale hits zero, your adventure will end. To help you out, I've lent you one of my assistants, Knock. Knock are not powerful fighters, but they're very helpful in a pinch. Hey, order is very important. Some Katamon are better suited to be at the front, so they can protect their allies. Others might have abilities that require them to be further back, so they can support from the rear. To rearrange the order of your queue, you can pick up and drag your units using left click. I'll do that because I want this guy to shield him, right? 
Right click on a Kadamon to open their card in the expanded view. Every Kadamon is different with unique stats and abilities. At the top of their card you'll find their core stats, health, attack, speed. On the top right you'll find their typing. Kadamon can have up to three types at the same time. Kadamon will do da bonus damage against their opponents if their type is strong against their opponent's type. To check what types are strong against, there's a helpful chart you can access in the top right. Every Kadamon has a unique passive ability. These abilities can be triggered in many different ways to help turn the tide of battle. Make sure you read the descriptions to check how to activate that Kadamon's passive ability. Some also have keyword augments which grant them additional abilities. Not every Kadamon has these though, so keep an eye out. The attack in yellow is that Kadamon's super attack. Is there meant to be something here? These powerful attacks will trigger once Kadamon has built up enough charge during battle. Don't worry about those for now though, we'll show you them in action shortly. Alright, let's get onto it. Hold down the play button. You'll be able to track the battle status down the bottom. Yep. Stop barriers of Kadamon's health. Once that's zero, they'll faint and exit the battle. The bar at the bottom is your speed bar. Okay. Most attack front by default. Okay, and the middle is the charge which unleashes their super attack. Speed up the top. Alright, let's go. So he shields both. Okay. After a battle, all your Kadamon gain experience points. Once they accumulate enough experience points, something exciting will happen. Okay, so you can track how much damage they did, how much health they lost. Nice. And you get rewards. You'll always gain two gold berries. These can be exchanged in the shop for new Kadamon or experience points. You'll always get to add your wild, one wild Kadamon to your team. They're endless com combinations, so be sure to try it all new allies all the time. Winning causes these two counters up the top of the screen to count down by one. When they hit zero, you'll gain bonus rewards. When the left counter hits zero, you'll get a bonus item. Items can be equipped to Kadamon to grant them bonuses in battle. Items come in two types, single use and hold. Former consumed when used, the latter are not. Okay, equip them in the bag. Bonus field effect. Field effects grant permanent bonuses that will apply throughout your adventures. Claim your rewards by left clicking on them one by one. Look at this guy, what's his name? Teeny. Next apply, deal two shield break to the front enemy. Give him a shield break. Frail. Takes one bonus damage. Grant all other allies one strength. Um. I suppose I'll keep him. Left an item. Well shielded. Reduce damage taken by 25%. I'm going to say that because I'm going to get shields quite often. This is the game 5 cash. After super deal 1 damage to all units. Okay. Once you've selected which field effect you want, the icon for that effect will appear here. Half here. What is this? Is this a shop? Uh, okay. Snooze. Kittle. Eculet. Oracle. Bad Boon. Slamala. Interesting. I want to go into my bag. But I can't. Okay, let's move on. Earth physical. It's got that style aspire type uh, level selection. Okay. Okay, yep, so fire. Good against grass, good against ice, good against bug. Pretty straightforward. What's that? A physical fire? And an earth. Yep, earth. Physical. Fire. Okay. 
Let's carry on. You might go in front of you, actually. Everyone gets shields, which is nice. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> that looks like we did okay. So Nock died, but between the shield and this guy buffing everyone, we did okay. So who will I recruit? Orcs Imp. After battle grant three random allies, one health. Is that permanent? Grants five shield to lowest health ally. Lowest max health enemy unit must attack this unit. Deal five damage to lowest max health enemy and swap them forwards. Look at this guy. He seems to be more aligned with my shielding. Welcome back. On this screen, you'll be able to set up your team for the next battle. You can view and rearrange your current team members here. If your active party is full, the new cannon will score stored in the box. You can easily swap units between your party and box by dragging the icons between the two. If your box is getting full or you no longer require a unit, you can release them back into the wild. This will mean they no longer fight with you, but they'll impart their wisdom on the rest of the team. Grant them all bonus experience points. Your items are stored here. Drag them onto a Kadamon to use them. Kadamon can only hold one item at a time, though. You can replace the item a Kadamon is holding by swapping it for another. Try equipping. Where's my knock? Or is he dead? Do they permanently die. Quite a greedy guzzler, so I'll have to let you play with his friends if you can keep bringing him delicious gold berries. Yeah, redeem tickets here to restock the shop entirely. Wonderful. So, I'm going to give... Who's got the lowest health? 50, 16 for you. While shielded, reduce damage taken. So I'm going to do that to you. Because everyone else will be shielding you, right? Um, but four berries. I don't really have enough to buy much. That'll start gaining 5 max health. On attack, apply 1 slow. Consume and gain 2 attack. I think I'm good. So, yeah, one thing I didn't realise is that once a, once a Kadamon dies, he's gone. I'll chime in from time to time if there's anything else I can assist with, but good luck on your adventures. Thank you very much. Off you go. Okay. Wait, did that thing die or did maybe he just got taken back because he was a tutorial? That's right. Anyway. Mystery event. Campsite. I'm going to go this way and get the events, I think. You found your first random event. The world is filled with these funny counters and you get to interact with Kadamon in new ways. Be sure to read each event carefully before you make a decision. Some events have relatively minor effects, while others can have major ramifications on your adventure. So continue to drag one of the event cards into the slot above. Okay. As the last battle ended, your celebrations were cut short by an earth-shattering rumble. You and three team members of your party looked at each other cautiously and agreed to track down the source. After days of exploration, you come across a stone chamber containing a glowing ancient tablet adorned in runes. Your party seems nervous, as if they know what the symbols mean. The runic symbols appear to just jut out slightly from the stone. Perhaps they can be pushed. Ah, so literally just guessing which rune to push, right? That one looks like a shield. We're going with a shieldy build. Let's do that. You want to show if you need to find it again to push more or not. Right. No idea what that was about. You found your first rest area. Come take a breather. At rest areas, you can take a moment to make any adjustments to your party that are needed. You can also choose one of the above rewards to take with you on your journey. You can grant one Katamon a bonus, 30 experience points. 
or you can add an additional type, making them stronger against certain opponents. When you're ready, you make a decision then head back out into the world. That's interesting to add types to uh, random creatures, I guess. So this guy's the water, I could add lightning, so it'll be lightning water. Actually, he's water ice. I think I'll get the experience though, and I think I'm gonna give it to him. Did that do anything? I don't know. Um, grass water here. Yep, don't mind that order. Got a banana peeling. <laughs> I like that design. Zip start. Zip strat, sorry. Bulbish. I need to get that banana bird. He's a healer. Man, this is hard to keep track of. Okay, we sniped the healer. is this guy's nearly leveled up now. I am going to recruit. Ally ahead hurt. Grant them plus one max health and take two damage. Oh. That's not good. <laughs> Four attack grant ally ahead two energy. After battle spawn a bull baby or grant one NXP. Gain experience, grant two random ally allies to experience. Here comes the lucky coin. Battle start, gain one thing, one uh, berry. And his water type, right? So there's something to do with synergies. Very appealing. I do love your design. Going with the oracle. I'll probably pop ahead there. Um, no, I don't think I'll spend any money at this stage. Gonna keep on moving. Bulbish, Oxim, Coldent. Hurt, summon a level one snowball. Snowball. Grub buddy. Ally hurt, gain one. Slow. But then converts all its slow into strength. That's a bit scary. Battle start, I'll grant all allies. Flash, on attack, deal one per stack to enemies. Right. Let's see what happens here. Jeez, he's just gone nuts over here. can snipe him before he gets too strong because he's just over there buffing himself. One down. But he summoned a... Oh, this guy summoned a little minion. This is going to keep happening. How do I get through that? This is insane. Just keeps doing it. Stop. <laughs> Good news is I think I'm going to snipe this guy. Oh, he just sniped me. I was wrong. I was wrong. I don't understand. Oh, jeez. 
Come on, stop him. Yes, he's gone. Yes, not the spawner. That's good. Man, this is crazy. Can I hold on here? I think I have. Holy moly. What did you do? When it hurt, you summon, summon a snowball. Holy moly. This guy's insane. Every time someone got hurt, he gained slow, and then when his energy was full, he converted all of that into damage, extra strength. Ah, if I already have the thing in my party, I'll get bonus experience for him. Gotcha. Uh, sure. Nice, so we've got two that are nearly leveled up. And I think if I buy that, I could uh, level him up right now. I have no idea if that's a good use of money, though. I'll just carry on for now. Armachillo. I like that. Hurt, apply cold to the fastest enemy. Grubber. Mushiki. Before attack, summon one shinobi, another summoner. And a Tainee, which we have. Go for it. tell if it's just because it's early and I haven't had my coffee yet, but I don't know if I supposed to be following what's going on here. Speed it up. Okay, we got it. The little Shrunobi's got summoned, but didn't do much for me, or against me. He is one level off leveling up, or well, one experience, sorry. So is he. Oh, he's three. Very close. Health potion... Bomb. And three. And three. And three. Health potion, I guess. Let's recruit. And 50% of all low? All, so does that mean on anyone? He also has the bone armor. A life fainted, gain 100% of attack as shield. I'll grab him. I don't think I can use him yet, no. Okay. I am going to do that. Nice. Because I just want to see what happens when you level up. I'm going to also buy a coconut shell for this shell and put it there. And I'm going to increase your max health. Because why not? Okay, filling out this little collection. Really like this guy. <laughs> Peeling. And Zip Strap's pretty cool as well. Alright. Lightning fire. Do my eyes deceive me? You found your first misprint. These specially coloured Katamon are super rare. I've only seen a handful through my research. I've heard rumours that each Katamon has multiple misprints. Maybe you get lucky and find more. If you manage to get a misprint to join your party, make sure to take it to the nearest rest area. That way I can document it. Is this a misprint? A zoom bus? I actually can't tell. Ah, oh, this one maybe. Blue Ant. He's got that little sparkle icon. 
without knowing what the original colors should be, I don't know what which one is the wrong color. Okay, so having decay reduces attack by two. Hurt gain one attack. Non-token ally faint. Summon a level one spark blug. Four attack grant ally ahead for energy. Armachillo, do you have a place in this team? You probably do. You probably do, actually, but... I'm going to leave Tainee out there for now. Now Tainee I can get into. This is just chaos. <laughs> oh, that was a bit close, actually. Alright, we've got a couple of levels. Oracle, Freeze, and Orcsimp all level up. He's evolving. Okay, what is this? Vibration. Okay, plenty of health, plenty of... well, not much attack. After battle, grant four random allies one health. Nice. Grant seven shield to lowest health ally. Okay. Cool. Did anyone else? Well, um, Zipstrat. When he was in the battle, he was um, different. Or is this the misprint? I can't tell. Which one did he tell me to get? Is this, is this a misprint icon? Or was he a misprint because he looked different? He had two tails in the battle. I'm going to get the wrong one. I'm going to get the wrong one, and it's going to look silly. Is there a help menu? Maybe I can find it here. Zumbus was the evolved form. Okay, so he's not a misprint. What is this ant thing? I'll see what he's meant to look like, maybe that will give me a hint. I'll find it. You know what? He's got that icon, I'm just gonna get him. Okay, they're all happy. 25, 12, 43, 12. I feel like he's an upgrade. Right, I won't spend anything right now. Mini boss. You can see is evolved. Thorns, that's annoying. It'll. Other sold. Gain one fast. Put another buddy grub buddy. Ah, oh, that's what a loom man should look like. It should be yellow. But this one is sh sh sorry, not shiny. Misprinted, so he's red. Ah, oh, look, I'll stick with this build for now. Ah. This was did evolve. This didn't get the, get the cinematic. Okay, lovely. Let's recruit a... So what do they evolve into? Blizzation. Battle start, grant allies four shield, grant ally in front eight shield. Gain experience, grant three random allies, two experience, gain two something wet. What is that? And grant all other shields equal to that. Okay. Right. Filament evolved. All summons deal four damage to the highest health enemy. So he's a good support for a summon team, right? Um, okay. He's got a lot of health now. 68, 34. You are the weak link there, buddy. 
give him a chance to evolve, I suppose. Actually, no, let's try. Let's try that. Vanilla Fane scan 100% of attack as shield. Okay, these are my synergies because I've got two ice and two water. Battle start, Grand All Allies 1, Splash. And three slow tall enemies. Okay. Not to even check what I'm up against. Jesus. Yeah, I was clearly wrong about when units die that they disappear forever. That was clearly just a tutorial thing, which is reassuring. Now, what did he do? Oh, it's an evolved Kittle. Okay. So he obviously can't recruit evolved forms either. Lowest max health enemy must attack this unit. I'm going to get a belief. Because he's also got an item. Hmm. We'll move on. Now we've got the choice of a mini boss or a campsite. I think I have to go to the mini boss, don't I? You found your first mini boss area. Careful now. These Kodamon are far more powerful than your average wild encounter. Feeding them might earn you special rewards, however, so give it your best. Kamos. Okay. They grant... When they get hurt, they grant all allies, all other allies to splash, and their special is to deal damage equal to my splash back to the enemy. So they'll all be doing that to each other. And every time they get splashed, he gets two thorns? Now that is a dangerous looking team. See what happens. Oh dear lord. That's a lot of splash going around there. Yeah, they're gonna wipe me easy. Alright lads. I still get the shop ticket. Which restocks the shop. Hmm. Boss. Uh oh. Can I go back to the shop? What can I buy? Attack our slow enemies. Bonus experience for this fella. Maybe I do restock just to see what I can get. Um, maybe just buy the slime for this guy. Just have something on there. Increase his attack as well. Now oh, well, let's just see what happens. Queen Struction. When hurt, collect four scrap. Build an Acrony with health equal to number of scrap. Uh oh. Bloody hell. Summons and summons and summons. I'm doing barely any damage. It's just killing itself. I am underprepared for this. <laughs> I just get the feeling. Oh. 
Then again, these guys have huge amounts of shield. I take it back. Look how high the shield got 123. How do you get 108 damage? Bloody hell. Anyway, uh, good. <laughs> good job, guys. A field effect. Ally fainted, allies heal two, move, grant ally two shield, ally ahead hurt, gain two strength. Uh, doesn't seem like much, does it? Unless you're in like a summon build. I'll go with that. I will select a. Skip that. That's the money you get a shop ticket. We'll move on. Now, he's evolved to Aikido. Strength applied, deal three, frail to the front enemy, grant all other enemies to the allies two strength. They're pretty boring, mate, to be honest. All the restock the shop. What is this? Skimu. After ally head super, deal one poison to a random enemy. Hit zap. Paranute. <laughs> Paranute. Love it. Well applied. Grant allies behind one bead. Sunglasses. Slow applied. Remove one frail. Crazy. Alright. Well, since I just beat the boss, I think I might leave the episode there and uh, come back next time. If you like this, this is Katamon. I'm sure I'll be covering this one again, so let me know in the comments if you like this and want to see more. Um, also, feel free to like and subscribe. It helps me a lot and then helps you keep in the loop when new videos drop. I'm Faintly Saintly. Thank you for watching.